Hi there, this is Art and Such, and I'm bringing you a different kind of video today. I do a lot of work with young children, um, largely between the ages of about two and five, and I found this to be one of the most useful things you can have when you're really stuck for an idea and maybe you need something new. Now this is painter's tape, it's just from a local dollar store. You can also use masking tape for some of the projects I'm going to show you, or even duct tape. And some of these ideas can be adapted for, for string, for markers, for a, a variety of different materials. But at any rate, I really wanted to share with you some projects, activities, and ideas that you can do using just this. This first video, I'm going to give you some art ideas. These are gathered from all over the internet and many of my teachers, many people I've come in contact with in the past. One thing you can do is you can make an image using tape. And here you have some choices. You can paint, you can draw, color, whatever materials really. and what happens when you remove it just as when you're painting you get a nice even shape this isn't the best paper for this so you'll have to play around and see what works but what should happen is the shape that you've created will be left nice and even nice and even lines so I did a kind of a square heart here you can do stripes or squares anything really and if you want to extend this beyond the paper you can do some nail art by putting a layer of nail polish on your fingernail or on your child's fingernail, letting it dry, attaching a very thin strip of tape, either across the middle or about halfway down. So put a little bit of tape across, put a second coat of polish over, and when that dries you can peel your tape off and you should have some really cool stripes or patterns. Another very simple, very basic idea for tape for art component is make some letters, make some shapes, make some pictures. And you can just give your give your child a strip of the stuff and see how they can figure it on the page. Another thing you might want to play around with are illusions or three-dimensional images. You can see this one's a little bit scrappy, but I hope you can get the idea. I've done a three-dimensional box, very basic here. And you can play around with line illusions or overlap the pieces and see what happens. You can also take, I was thinking about pumpkins like a jack-o'-lantern, but you can take any kind of object and create a face on it. So this might be fun around Halloween time if you are a Halloween celebrating family or establishment. And you can make whatever shapes you like for the eyes and the mouth. There's also a pencil leaf. I'm using green painter's tape here which works really well but this would work just with a, a pale yellow or beige as, as well. And you fold your tape over you cut it going down from the top on either side and you can draw on some of the little veins and you get a really nice leaf to go around your pencil. That might be nice if you're doing a present. And this is a very, very basic bracelet. The, the younger kids really like it. You take a strip of tape, fold it over onto itself, and you just throw another little piece on at the end to secure it. One last thing here for tape applications, for art applications of tape. If you want to put a line or a pattern and get your child to try and cut it straight across, it's a really good way to practice. Or see if your child can cut along the edge on either side. Or see how many pieces, see how you can divide it and maybe make it into a basic fraction game or even use it as a ruler. 
I'm going to do two more videos in this series. One will be more learning based activities to do with using the tape. And the other thing I've got is a whole bunch of activity ideas which are wonderful if it's rainy out or again you're just looking for something new. So please tune in for parts two and parts